Hi, this is Randall Whiteman. Today I'll be running through a brief overview of the Supplier Maintenance application in Epicor ERP version 10 using the standard demonstration environment. OK, let's get started. So I've logged into Epicor ERP 10 in the demo environment and I've set up some user favorites. So I'll go straight to the Supplier favorite. Now I'll just show you some of the brief, uh, quick, quick overview of just some of the functionality of the Supplier Maintenance and feel free to ask any more questions. So on the supplier detail, the main detail page, we have a supplier ID. In this case, I'm going to use um, AB Electronics. The supplier ID is ABE, the name AB Electronics. There's an account reference, which is the company's reference within the supplier's systems. And we can hold a calendar, so the supplier's production work schedule for planning purposes. We have a number of flags. We have an approved flag hold payments so the supplier is not available during payment entry and we also have inactive so it's not available on purchase order entry. And it's a group so you can categorize supplier for reporting purposes and the terms for the payment schedule and discount terms. Free on board indication of when legal ownership of the good changes to the company and also the payment method which is the default method for remitting payment to this supplier. There's also purchase points, which are alternate locations from where a supplier provides product or services. And in this case, AB Electronics doesn't have any purchase points, but we would set up address details here. And you could also set up individual contact details. There's also the contacts for the supplier, the main supplier where we would set up the contact information, the name, function, the role title, and also contact numbers. And you can also indicate if this contact is the primary contact at the supplier. The bank remit to, so for payment purposes, you set up a, a unique ID for each payment, um, for this each payment method for this uh, supplier so and you also set here the the bank uh, account and identifier details the pay to information down the bottom is the details to print on remittance there's also an attributes for attributes area where um, user defined attributes maintained through the attributes application you can set up specific attributes to um, apply to this supplier for reporting purposes. So this has been a, a very quick overview of the supply maintenance application. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This was a Whiteman Online presentation. For more great content, subscribe to the Whiteman Online YouTube channel and visit the website. I look forward to seeing you soon at Whiteman Online.